Hey, what's up, people? It's your girl, Kalila, again, and I am here to show you another fun leg and glute workout today. We're gonna get your muscles nice and toned and burning. So let's start with the warm up, all right? Feet wide. We're just gonna take front, side, back, side. Get those hips nice and loosened up. Back and side. Separate the movement. Side, back, and side. Front, side, back, and side. There you go. Speed it up. Side, back, and side. Front, side, back, and side. Front, side, back, and side. Keep going. Back, side. There you go. Get a little motion with it. Couple more. Two. And one. Nice work. Now, heels go out, heels go in. Little Beyonce move for you. Heel out and in. Twist the hips. Twist the hips. Twist the hips. Hey. Hey. There you go. Have fun with this one. Kick it out. Kick it out. Kick it out. Kick it out. Yeah. Get those legs up. Don't forget that twist. 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 Twist it. Twist it. Give me a few more. Ah, yeah. Nice work from the side. You guys are going to arch. Come back up, stretch that back out. Feel that stretch in your hamstrings, okay? So you're gonna dip, curve up. Dip and curve up. Very nice, feel that snake. Snake it. Snake it, push it out. You can do this one in the club, and you can get a workout, okay? Curve it. Curve it. Give me a few more. Curve it. Bent knees, curve it up. One more. Curve it up, nice work, nice work. Back to the front. We're gonna sit in that squat position and you're gonna literally just keep your knees out. Knees out, give me a little bounce with it. Knees out. You should start feeling that burn for real, for real. Push it out, push it out and bounce. Push it out, push it out and bounce. Good, keep on going. Push it and bounce. Push it out. Yes. Push it out and bounce. Three, two, and one. Whew. Shake it out, shake it out. One more thing, keep those legs nice and wide and you're gonna touch the floor. Just touch it, touch it, feel the earth. Stay low. Touch, touch, touch. Woo! All ready, and it's just the warm up. Three, two, and one. Shake it out. Very, very nice. All right, so let's get into this workout now. We're going to use a dumbbell. So go ahead and grab your dumbbells. I have a 10 pound right here. Okay? So we are going to deadlift, okay? From the side. I want you to have soft knees, not too stiff, soft and not very bent, okay? You're gonna hinge forward, just like we did with this motion, but keep your back straight. Shave down the legs, okay? All the way down, feel that tension in your hamstrings. Squeeze it up at the top. 
down and squeeze. If you're a little more advanced, get a heavier weight. Deadlift. Squeeze. Push those hips out. Hinge forward. Squeeze. And make sure you're breathing. Always breathing through the workout, guys. Make sure you're getting that air to your brain. And you're pushing through. Deadlift. We're doing high reps, okay? Let's do about 15 more. Let's say our reps are around 30 today, okay? Ten more. Feel that burn. Hinge it forward. Five more. Two more. Two. And one. Very nice, guys. All right, single leg now. Go ahead and grip this dumbbell for me. Let's use both hands. And you are going to balance, okay? So if you're not as advanced with this, stick to the regular deadlift. You are going to take one leg up, deadlift down, squeeze at the top, okay? All about keeping your core tight. And squeeze up. Balance, balance. Focus in. Get that back leg up. Keep that weight close to the leg. How we doing there? And do this at your own pace, guys. It's all about balance. Feel that stretch in the glute. So let's split this one up. 15 on each side. Let's do five more. Three more. Look at that beautiful water. My God. And keep your balance. I'm falling over here. And, uh, okay, now we're switching legs. Trying to look at you guys and keeping my balance is kind of tough, so stay with me. Bring it down, bring it up. There we go. And squeeze. Single leg. Ooh, are you feeling that tension in your hammy and your glutes? You should be. Ah, look at that water. I love it. Keep on going, guys. Keep that core tight. Deadlift. Let's do five more. Woo! Three. Two. One, very nice, okay, shake it out. All right guys, so now we're going to do a dumbbell swing. Usually you would do these with the kettlebell. Doing it with the dumbbell is fine. If you have a water bottle that's heavy, that's fine too. Just use what you have. 
So what you're going to do is give me this hinging motion, pushing back, and you're gonna bring your hips forward, okay? Hinging motion, hips forward. You're gonna let the dumbbell swing through your thighs, up to the face. Swing it, swing it. Have a nice grip on that dumbbell, hips forward. Back and forward. Slight bend in the knees. Not too high either. Right to the face. And breathe out. Good job. Starting to feel that burn. Ten more. Woo! Rock it. Four. Three. Two. And one. Woo! All right. Good work. Shake it out. Give me a little shake. A little vibration there. All right, we're feeling good. We still have our dumbbells. Nice squat position, toes pointed out. Let's have our dumbbell the horizontal way now. And you're just gonna let it hang. Drop it nice and low. Dumbbell to the floor if you can. If you cannot, as low as you can. Give me that nice, deep range of motion squat. Touch the floor, squeeze. Let's shape those legs and thighs, guys. And breathe. Chest up, chest up. There we go, hit the floor. You're doing great, you're halfway there. Keep on working. You should be burning by now, guys. But keep at it. That's where the change happens. Let's do five more. Two. And one. Woo. Okay. Shake it out one more time for me. How we feeling guys, good? You already know. So now, we're going to do a figure eight lunge. So what I want you to do, stepping back, reverse lunge, you're gonna figure eight through your legs, just switching. Stepping back, figure eight, okay? There you go, figure eight. Through the leg. Step back, through the leg. There we go, you got it. If you need to take a break, take a break. Shake it out, start over again. Figure eight. Quad burn. I'm feeling it. Let's do 10 more, guys. Woo! And figure it. Five more. Yeah! 
Nice work, guys. All right, let's put that dumbbell down. Now we're hitting the floor. I want you guys on your back. So now we're going to do some frog glute bridges, okay? So with this one, the difference, your feet will be together, laying flat on your back, and you're gonna press up from here. So you're gonna hit the inner thighs a little bit with this one too. Pressing into the floor, squeeze up, high as you can. Back down, keep those feet together, okay? Squeeze it up, back down, keep those feet together. Frog bridges. Who comes up with this stuff, huh? <laughs> I know who comes up with it. Booty geniuses. That's right. It's gonna shape everything. Squeeze at the top as high as you can. You're not gonna be able to get as high as the regular glute bridges, but that's okay. Keep those feet together. And up, and down, and up, and down, and up, and down. Keep it together, guys. Yes. Squeezing. You're doing great. Great, great, great. Let's do five more. Four. And three. And two. And one big one for the win. Let's just hold it there. Give me a nice hold. Tricked you, huh? Hold it, hold it. Five. Four. Three. Two, and one. Okay, great. Release it. Go ahead and just swing those legs around a little. Stretch it out some. All right, now we are on our sides. I want you to get on your forearm. Nice straight line with the body. The supporting leg is bent, the knee is down, this leg is straight. You can have this other hand right in front of you for support if you need it. If not, you can put your hand on the hip. You're literally just going to press the hip up. Back down. Press the hip up. Back down, that's it. Hip raises, all right? Make sure you're breathing. If you want a little challenge, go ahead and straighten both for me. Press it up, bring it down. Press it up, bring it down. Press it up, bring it down. If that's too much for you, go ahead and bring it back to the first. One leg bent, one leg straight. You have options, okay? Try them both, see what works for you. Challenge yourself. Press it on up, bring it back down. You should feel it in your hip. You'll feel it in your shoulder a little bit too, of course, because you're putting your weight there. Press it up. Yes. Woo. Burn it. All ready. Let's do five more. Five. Four. And three. Last one, I'm shaking. Ugh, one. Very nice. Let's switch to the other side. We want to be even. Same thing. Forearm on the floor. Supporting leg bent. Nice straight line. Have this hand here for support if you need it. And go ahead and press it up. Back down. If you can, go ahead and put it on the hip. Yes, feel that burn, I'm feeling it. And remember, you can go straight leg too if you want that challenge. Straight leg, bring it down. 
Straight leg. If not, bring it back to the bent leg, okay? Just keep working. Try both. If you need this support, right here too. Let's do five more. Woo! And three. And two. And one. Very, very nice, guys. Good work, good work. From here, let's stay in this position. Okay? So you're going to support yourself just like this with the hands. Straight line. Now, you're going to swim that leg forward. Swim it. Forward to back. Nice and graceful. Keep that toe pointed. I don't want a flex foot. No flex foot. Point. And swim it. You should feel this in your hips, guys. Ooh, my toe started cramping. I pointed too hard. Just shake it out if that happens to you. Keep working. And breathe. You should feel that hip burn. Let's do five more. Keep working. Three, two, and a one. Very nice. Swing it to the other side. Same thing. Get your position on and swim it back. Forward and back, point the toe. Keep the energy in your leg. Yes, very good. Work those hips, guys. Energy in the leg. Forward. Bring it around. Keep breathing. Five more. Woo, hips are burning. Push through, push through. Three, two, and a one. Ah, yes. Good work. Moving on. So let's go to our knees. Now this one's a doozy, okay? Hands right under your shoulders. You're going to do a kickback swing for me. Let's do 10 on each side. These ones are a little more advanced. So what you're going to do is kick back. You're going to stay up. Swing side and back, side, and back. Yes, keep it up there. Seven, eight, nine, woo, ten. Beautiful. Same thing on the other side, guys. Let's switch it around so you can see my leg better. Kick it back. Keep it up there, okay? Try to keep it up. Don't let that leg drop. If it does, just keep trying to pull it up best you can. Work that side hip action. Whew. Whew. You're shaking. That's a good thing. Ah. Woo. Eight. Nine. Ten. Woo. Ah, 
that's a burner right there. It is. It burns so good. We have to do another set. I just wanted to split them up for you guys so you last. All right, again, one more time. Kick it back. Side. Seven, eight, woo nine, one more, finish strong, ten. Last one on this side, let's burn it out. That's what we're here to do, shape that booty, right? Kick it back, side. Keep it up there, keep it up there, guys. I'm shaking with you. We're on eight. Nine. Last one. Ooh, wee. 10, very good work, okay. Push back into that child's pose. Go side to side, kind of stretch those hips out a little bit. You're doing great. All right, let me flip it around for you one more time. We're gonna stay within the realm of kickbacks. Now we're just gonna pulse, okay? Nice flex foot up in the air. Pulsing. All right, squeeze that booty. Pulse it so it doesn't come all the way down this time. You're pulsing. Four, three, two, and ah, one. Woo. Side to side, side to side. Stretch those hips out. They should be tight and burning. Other side, same thing. Make sure the foot is flexed. And you're pulsing. Keep it up there, guys. Feel that burn. There we go. And five, four, three, two, and one. Oh my God, my butt. Feels amazing. Very nice. All right, guys. Let's stretch it out now. What I want you to do is put one foot forward. Go ahead and reach for that toe for me. Head down. Stretch out those hamstrings. Awesome job, guys. Thanks for sticking with me. Let's switch sides. Same thing on the other side. Put that foot out. Just hold. Hold and breathe. Very nice. Onto our stomachs. Now I just want you to grab one foot, pull it towards you, stretch out your quads a little bit, switch legs, pull that foot to the butt. Now both, pull it in, very nice, let's go into our runner stretch, one foot flat, back leg straight, you're just going to hold that, feel that groin stretch, try not to have your knee over your toe, have this nice and square so you're not putting pressure on your knees. forward flex this foot and just hold it there now if you can't get as low as me and you were up here 
that is just fine. Bring it to the front, same thing. Just hold it up here. If you can get down, get all the way down for me. Go over to the other side. Flex that foot. <sighs> and just breathe. Breathe through your stretches. Release those muscles. Twist it over to runner stretch on the other side. Left leg bent, right leg straight. Again, if you can't get this low, put your hands on your thigh and just hold it up right here. If not, get down there. Feel that stretch. Very nice. All right. And we're going to roll it out. Just loosen those hips up. Bring it around town and back. Around town and back. Around town and back. Uh-huh. Let's get a nice body roll in there. Just loosen it on up. There you go. Loosen that back up. It might be a little tight from those kickbacks. Body roll. Body roll. Hey. Hey. Just add that in there for fun. The little Jamaican bop, bop, bop. Yes, give me two more rolls. Very nice, give me a nice deep plie. Release and breathe. Inhale, exhale, one more. Breathe. Roll those shoulders out. Roll them forward. And last thing but not least, I always like to release your head. Just circle it around. Breathe. Go the opposite way. And you are done! Awesome work, guys. Thank you so much. Can't wait to work out with you again. See you next time.